Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a Zimbabwean inventor, has made a remarkable claim. Known for his innovative spirit and relentless pursuit of groundbreaking technologies, Chikumbuzo has always been a figure of intrigue in the world of invention. His latest announcement however has taken the world by storm. We want to journey into the rabbit hole to understand why the Westerner are branding the world hero a scam and his invention hoax. This level of accusations is a call to concern, although success attracts hatred. Yo, I am Dr. Cool. We are to discuss something that's concerning about our hero, which the Westerners are trying to paint a picture of a villain. Maxwell has invented a car that runs without fuel or external charging. This revolutionary vehicle, which is currently getting funded by Zimbabwe government, will potentially change the entire landscape of the automotive industry. The backslash from Western world will not stop African leadership in technology innovation. Let's imagine a world where cars no longer need gasoline or even electric charging stations. The implications are enormous a true game changer. This self-powered car called the Scythe Kaivi runs on a unique generator. The design of the Scythe FEV is sleek and modern, embodying the future of automotive technology. But what truly sets it apart is the technology under the hood. Chikumbuzo says his generator converts radio frequencies into usable electricity. This concept, viability have the potential of revolutionizing not just transportation but energy consumption as a whole. The idea of harnessing ambient radio frequencies to power a vehicle is both fascinating and controversial. This claim has sparked both intrigue and controversy worldwide. News outlets and tech enthusiasts are buzzing with discussions about the potential and feasibility of such a technology. Some see it as the dawn of a new era, while others are more cautious. Some people are hopeful about the potential of such groundbreaking technology. Engineers and scientists who have reviewed Chikumbuzo's work express optimism, suggesting that if his claims hold up, it could lead to a significant shift in how we think about energy and transportation. Others remain skeptical, demanding scientific proof to support the extraordinary claim. Skeptics argue that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and until Chikumbuzo's technology is independently verified, it remains in the realm of speculation. The story of Chikumbuzo's invention is a complex one. It involves years of research, countless hours in the lab and overcoming numerous challenges. The journey of bringing such a disruptive technology to light is fraught with obstacles, both technical and societal. It touches upon themes of innovation, skepticism, and the challenges of bringing disruptive technologies to light. Chikumbuzo's journey is a testament to the relentless pursuit of innovation and the courage to challenge the status quo. Whether his claims will stand the test of scientific scrutiny remains to be seen, but his bold vision continues to inspire and provoke thought. To support his claim, Chikumbuzo has conducted several public demonstrations of his invention. These demonstrations have attracted the attention of high-profile individuals and institutions, particularly in Africa. He showcased his SAITH FEV to Zimbabwean President Emerson Manangagwa. The demonstration took place at the State House in Harare, Zimbabwe. Chikumbuzo also presented his invention at several elite African universities. These institutions include the University of Zimbabwe and the National University of Science and Technology in Zimbabwe. Initially, the response to these demonstrations was positive. The initial wave of support for Chikumbuzo's invention was short-lived. What began as a promising breakthrough soon turned into a whirlwind of controversy and doubt. The excitement that had initially surrounded his work quickly dissipated, as more and more people began to question the validity of his claims. The public's enthusiasm was replaced by skepticism and concern. Serious questions arose about the legitimacy of his claims. Investigative journalists and experts in the field started to dig deeper into Chikumbuzo's background and the supposed technology he had developed. They scrutinized every detail, looking for inconsistencies and evidence of deceit. The more they investigated, the more doubts surfaced. Investigative journalist Simba Chikanza accused Chikumbuzo of fraud. Chikanza, known for his relentless pursuit of the truth, held a press conference where he laid out his findings. He claimed that Chikumbuzo's invention was nothing more than a cleverly orchestrated scam designed to deceive investors and the public, and the world quickly believed him without evidence. Chikanza presented evidence suggesting Chikumbuzo had a history of criminal activity. He revealed documents that linked Chikumbuzo to various criminal offenses, including fraud and embezzlement. 
These revelations cast a dark shadow over Chikumbuzo's credibility and raise serious concerns about his true intentions. Wait for a second, I thought we were talking about self-powered car. When did embezzlement, guns, criminal activity about the African inventor kicked? It simply didn't add up. Chikanza was paid by oil industry to spread false information alongside with PR Nigeria. If the claim by Chikanza was fact as much as his co-conscripted per Nigeria, they should present to the public with a copy of Maxwell Chikumbuzo inventions to the public with their evidence. Chikanza, who has been known for feeding false information by Al Jazeera, is suddenly a reliable source for investigative journalism. That's terrible. Chikanza goes on to state Maxwell Chikumbuzo is alleged activity included armed robbery and illegal gun ownership. The accusations were shocking and painted a picture of a man with a deeply troubled past. The public was left reeling as they tried to reconcile the image of the innovative inventor with that of a criminal. Those are the claims of Chikanza. However, how does this disprove that the self-powered car invented by Maxwell Chikumbuzo is not real? Or not meeting up with claims of Maxwell Chikumbuzo groundbreaking invention? no connection. Chikanza also suggested possible links between Chikumbuzo and Zimbabwean intelligence. He hinted at a complex web of connections that could explain how Chikumbuzo had managed to gain such widespread support initially. These allegations added another layer of intrigue and suspicion to the unfolding drama. This is how a compromised journalist goes about his or her work, to bury innovators and change makers that challenge the status quo. There was no case of criminal on Maxwell Chikumbuzo's, he has never been convicted or deal on arms. Let's look at the claim from the poor misinformation from Perniguria. They claimed his self-powered generator is solar-powered generator bought off Amazon. Let's compare the pictures and, and see the striking resemblances. This product was made by China. Brownie sold his own specs. Maxwell Chikumbuzo have his original specs. Perniguria, now you have a better picture of Perniguria. Faced with these serious allegations, the Zimbabwean government quickly distanced itself from Chikumbuzo. Officials held emergency meetings and press conferences to address the growing scandal. They emphasized that they had been unaware of Chikumbuzo's past and that they had been misled by his seemingly groundbreaking work. They retracted their previous endorsements and deleted all online support for his work. Social media posts and official statements that had once praised Chikumbuzo were swiftly removed. The government's swift action was an attempt to mitigate the damage and restore public trust, but the fallout from the scandal was far from over. That's amazing, however, this, the reality in 2025, believes that Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Mnangagwa said no one can take away that capability. He was, he said this earlier today when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chukumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. This is one of Chikumbuzo's groundbreaking innovations. He calls it a self-powering electric vehicle, powered entirely by radio waves. This is the first of its kind in the world. Today, Chikumbuzo paid a courtesy call on President Mnangagwa at the State House in Harare, where he presented his latest inventions. I'll switch it on so that you can see. I think you can see the battery. It will start to charge itself. The president said such were testament that Zimbabweans were skilled enough to usher leading inventions that defy logic. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There is no other in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world that it is here in Zimbabwe by this young Zimbabwe. And he's so gifted, you wouldn't believe it. But when he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some in the old wires. <laughs> <laughs> now know that it's well connected, well connected. Chikumbuzo took the opportunity to explain and demonstrate how his latest invention works. So with this car you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, has, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 320 to 380 newton meters of torque. That means it's, it's fast. 
President Mnangagwa revealed that he was personally supporting Chikumbutswa in his endeavours. The 44-year-old high school dropout was initially offered millions of dollars by the United States of America to stay and continue his work in the country, an offer he refused. The president praised Chikumbuzo's innovation, which include wireless self-powering drones and television sets, among other inventions. The inventor chronicled how himself and his colleague had been poisoned in the United States of America because their idea was challenging traditional ways of thinking. Chikumozo's colleagues succumbed to the poisoning incident. With that technology, it violates uh, the laws of energy thermo in, in thermodynamics and also the first law of energy as well. So they wanted to arrest him for changing physics. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said we were violating the natural laws of physics. Mm. So it's not an industrial applicable. 2025 of how the president of Zimbabwe, Emerson, has showed his support and promoted the inventor, it didn't end there, goes forward to currently establishing manufacturing plant in Zimbabwe to accommodate Maxwell Chikumbutso self-powered technology. You can see how the Western-sponsored journalist destroys Africa. Western media outlets and the scientific community reacted to Chikumbuzo's claims with significant skepticism. My concern here is the immense hate flying under the comment section from Western world citizens is nothing but act of jealous and envy, as they believed in their deepest philosophy that nothing good can emerge from Africa, Nazareth. This has become a monumental disruption that will change the history and perception of Africa forever. Many dismissed his invention as a hoax, due to hate of the color of his skin, not because he is guilty of the allegations that are biased. They cited a lack of scientific evidence and the serious allegations of fraud. Scientific evidence and scrutiny from the Westerners can hold on to their skepticism, while Africa hold on to their self-powered technology. Everybody wins. However, Africa isn't forcing the Westerners to buy self-powered technology from African genius. They already have their Tesla and whole lithium battery and fossil fuel wold. Chikumbuzo's refusal to submit his invention for independent testing by reputable scientific institutions fueled skepticism. The scientific community relies on the scientific method. This method requires rigorous testing, peer review, and independent replication of results. Without this validation, claims of extraordinary inventions are met with healthy skepticism. Section 5. The Demand for Scientific Rigor The Western scientific community's demand for rigorous testing is not arbitrary. It is a well-established practice that has been honed over centuries. This meticulous approach ensures that any new discovery or invention is thoroughly vetted before it is accepted as a scientific fact. This process involves multiple stages of testing, peer review, and replication of results. Each step is crucial in eliminating errors, biases, and ensuring the reliability of the findings. It is, quite frankly, the foundation of scientific progress. Without such rigor, the scientific community would be unable to distinguish between genuine breakthroughs and mere conjecture. This rigorous process is what has allowed science to advance and provide us with the technologies and understanding we have today. From the development of life-saving medicines to the exploration of space, scientific rigor has been the bedrock of these achievements. However, intellectual property theft is also a major call to concern. As the matter of fact, most black invention gets stolen at the event of scientific scrutiny, processing and replication. In this regards my stand is Africans shouldn't fall for Westerners invention theft. If they choose to do so, they should be aware that they things can turn ugly super fast. You see extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. However, this is only fair and acceptable in the phase of transparency and fairness not suppression and racial profiling. Sipel is not just a catchy phrase but a fundamental tenet of scientific inquiry. It means that the more a claim deviates from what is currently known and accepted, the stronger the evidence must be to support it. This is especially true for claims that challenge the very foundations of our scientific understanding. However, someone said thinking outside the box is permitted in the approach to innovation. If that hold truth, then scientific community and physics should go and eat donut. This principle, often attributed to Carl Sagan, 
underscores the need for a high standard of proof, especially for claims that challenge our current understanding of science. Sagan's words remind us that science is not just about making bold claims, but about backing them up with solid reproducible evidence. This is what separates science from pseudoscience and ensures that our knowledge is built on a firm foundation. When an inventor claims to have developed a technology that violates known laws of physics like Chikumbuzo's invention seems to, the scientific community is naturally skeptical. This skepticism is not a dismissal, but a call for thorough investigation. The burden of proof lies with the inventor to demonstrate that their invention works as claimed and to provide a plausible explanation for how it operates within or beyond the known laws of physics. The burden of proof is on the inventor they must provide compelling and verifiable evidence to support their claims. This involves not just demonstrating the functionality of the invention but also subjecting it to independent testing and scrutiny. Only through such rigorous validation can the scientific community accept and build upon new discoveries. That's the Western belief, this belief is okay, however it might not be necessary these days as the scientific community can be bought and influenced by big oil cooperation, any groundbreaking invention presented for rigorous investigation, testing and replication risk getting stolen, or silence especially if it defy the laws of physics and challenges the status quo. So it will be right to say that Westerners' scientific community if compromisable is unfit to pass the right verdict without compromise, fear or favor racially influenced or political. Even if they provide compelling and verifiable evidence to support their claims, even if their evidence is clear, reproducible, and withstand the scrutiny of the scientific community. The fear of compromise and intellectual property theft is reasonable. If it's no compromise of the scientific community, only then can such claims be integrated into the broader body of scientific knowledge, paving the way for future innovations and discoveries. Section 6. A History of Exploitation and Mistrust Chikumbuzo has defended his reluctance to engage with Western scientific institutions. He cites a fear of intellectual property theft, he points to historical examples of African inventors being exploited by Western entities. These concerns, while understandable, do not negate the need for scientific validation. There are ways to protect intellectual property while still subjecting inventions to scrutiny. Section 7. Public backlash and online hostility. The lack of scientific evidence and allegations of fraud have led to a significant public backlash against Chikumbuzo. Social media platforms have been rife with accusations of him being a scammer. The online hostility highlights the importance of critical thinking and responsible information consumption. While skepticism is warranted, resorting to personal attacks and spreading misinformation is unhelpful. Section 8. The Potential Impact of a Genuine Breakthrough if Chikumbuzo's invention were to be proven genuine, the implications would be profound. A self-powered car would revolutionize the automotive industry. It could potentially eliminate our reliance on fossil fuels for transportation. This would have a significant impact on climate change and geopolitics. Section 9. Conclusion, Awaiting Validation The story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo and his self-powered car remains shrouded in controversy. Until his claims are subjected to and pass rigorous independent scientific testing, they will continue to be met with skepticism. The burden of proof lies with Chikumbuzo to provide the necessary evidence to support his extraordinary claims. Until then, the world waits and watches. The question remains, should inventor risk their life work being stolen by subjecting it to non-transparent scientific community for validation? Because this is not a product one can buy and market once stolen, it's irretrievably. So folks, by now you have know how the West compromised the individual and cooperation to blackmail an entities, either to discredit it or to suppress and destroy it, Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein. Good luck Jonathan the list goes on, here is my stand, Africa is a continent of its own, and mature enough to make informed decision that fosters their well-being and productivity without the Western influence dictating or babysitting Africa. In this regards, TV West can go about their day, producing product that keeps their citizens dependent on non-reusable technology, carry on with their skepticism, fossils fuel, greenhouse emissions, lithium battery, Tesla, Mercedes, Volkswagen Toyota, while Africa go about their own world of pure clean energy self-powered technologies. However, by so doing the Westerner has choosing to save their trillion dollar industries over polluting the environment with outdated technology that should be left to rust. That's a fact everyone knows. 
Let me know what you think in the comments section. I remain Dr. Cool. Be sure to subscribe, share, like, and together let's reshape the false narrative of African world. Wakanda forever.